You decide 2012 Republican presidential candidate Herman Cain soaring to the top of a new Zogby poll. 28% of likely voters selected Cain as their candidate. Rick Perry had 18% in this most recent poll and Romney 17%. Polls conducted after the Orlando GOP debate, but it was actually before Cain won that Florida straw poll on Saturday. In the meantime, Fox's political team stomping out rumors tonight that New Jersey Governor Chris Christie is considering a run for president. Christie's been on a three-state tour raising money for New Jersey's Republican Party. But even with the speculation, Christie has said again and again he will not run for the White House right now. What do I have to do short of suicide to convince people I'm not running? Well, that's boldly worded. Christie's going to deliver a speech tonight at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library. In the meantime, let's analyze the current GOP field. Joining us now, political analyst Sarah Rump from SunshineStateSarah.com. Sarah, thank you for coming in. I think uh, Christie ruled that out pretty definitely, but do you see a run from him for a higher office at some point down the line? Well, I think one of the reasons that um, Chris Christie and, and other candidates like Herman Cain are getting a lot of attention right now is because they have a direct and honest approach. And when Christie says, what do I have to do short of suicide to convince you I'm not running, I, I'm going to take him at his word. Um, you know, he's done a very good job in New Jersey with the budget. Um, now, I'm not convinced that some of his uh, more moderate stances that work in New Jersey will work with an overall Republican electorate nationwide, but um, he's definitely an exciting uh, person to have in our party, but I, I really do take him at his word that he's not running for president. So you you boil it down to that. You believe that Christie and Kane have that sort of direct approach. Is that what they're bringing that the other GOP candidates are not? Absolutely. Um, one with the uh, voters that I was talking to at the uh, CPAC conference and presidency five last week. The what was the fundamental uh, reason that the Herman Kane hurricane happened was because we. We are the Republican electorate is angry and upset about what's going on and they want some direct answers and they want some solutions and they want something to talk about watching Romney and Perry debate back and forth who said what in whose book doesn't help govern the country would Herman Cain's up there with a clear plan right and would you agree that Perry fell a little flat that was what some critics were saying again in this most recent debate he seemed less energetic than I've seen him before um, like I, I've seen I saw him at his announcement speech in Charleston South Carolina and it was amazing uh, he just did not have that same energy at the debate last week and some of his responses they were I mean they were disrespectful when he says if you don't agree with me on the in-state tuition issue you have no heart uh, that really angered a lot of the a lot of the people I knew in the audience. And as we've been tracking, Sarah, these candidates throughout at least the early process through these debates, through these straw polls, we've seen Michelle Bachman surge. We've seen, of course, Perry surge and, and Herman Cain. Is there any way to predict who will grab the nation's attention next? Or are we so far away you think that this uh, sort of publicity isn't even really valuable just yet? Well, the one consistent thing that I've heard from Republican and grassroots conservative Tea Party movement people from the beginning is they want a strong candidate who's a strong conservative and also ready to stand side by side with President Obama on stage and put up a good fight. So any candidate that has all of those qualities is going to do well. The, the Republican electorate is excited and energized to unite behind one candidate and they've just been looking for someone who's the combo of a strong conservative but also a strong fighting candidate. Yes, and it looks like they are trying out each candidate debate by debate. Uh, Sarah Rumpf with us. Uh, SunshineStateSarah.com and political analyst. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank